Hey y'all, what's up? So recently, I unlocked my first ever legendary gear in Injustice 2. And of course I got it from my boy Green Arrow. It took an absurd amount of grinding, a lot of time, a lot of hours, more boxing glove finishes than I'd like to admit. And now I have it. Was it worth it? Totally. <laughs> I want to talk about what it does, what it looks like, and I also want to compare the abilities that it changes to his normal ones in this video. I did get this bow live. We played the Legendary Multiverse on Twitch a couple nights ago. That video is archived on the second channel, Dola Dynamics XL. If you want to check it out, link's in the description. But let's take a look at this bow. It's pretty beautiful. And as you can see, it said, Godly Red Shader for the gear itself. I mean, I don't know. Maybe it's just because it's so rare that makes it look so much better. But whew, that looks sweet. And as you can see, the name is the Multiverse Protectors Hunting Bow. Pretty awesome name. Let's take a look at what it looks like. The quiver is more gold than usual. I mean, some, some quivers have some gold in them, like this one especially. But this one's gold heavy. It's kind of nice. And it's not too giant either. I like that about his bow and uh, quiver in this case. If you look at the bow, the bow is beautiful. If you look at these ones, they're all bulky and they're like, they're huge, they're heavy, they're giant. I don't know if I like the look of these ones, but I think I can honestly say, surprisingly, that this bow is the best one that he has, aesthetically. It looks beautiful, and I have to say that it's it has like an uncanny appearance to Green Goblin's glider from the Spider-Man movies. I don't know, let me know if you can see it too. Maybe it's those little two spinny things, you know, those two little circles. But let's talk about the stats. So with all legendary gear in the game, I believe it's all 500 strength, ability, defense, and 250 health, so that's pretty good. You know, it's pretty a pretty substantial boost to all of those. I do have bows that are more strength and defense heavy, um, but I actually do like the stats here. I think it's pretty good. What's more interesting are the augments. So he has two augments. Number one is interaction boost, increases environmental interaction damage by 25%. Now that one's not too unique to Green Arrow because Cyborg, for his legendary blaster, he has the same exact augment, so it's not too special, and I think some other characters have it too. But what is super unique is upgraded arsenal, which is absolutely a play on Roy Harper. <laughs> Green Arrow receives three new arrow types for his fully loaded character power. So we'll talk about that in a second. I think it's super cool and I want to see what the differences are. Also, as you can see, it's not for sale at the very bottom. I think that's interesting because I was talking with a subscriber about theories in the game and he shared a similar theory to me that the higher the sell price, the better the gear is. And I see a correlation with it. Absolutely. So the very fact that this bow is priceless, you can't sell it, you can't favorite it. And it also says straight up not for sale. That's pretty cool. So to test out my ideology with the arrows or just see if it works, it, like when I say works, see if, the, if there's any difference in damage or frame rates or whatever. We're just going to kind of eyeball it and see what it does. So I have a second loadout that's essentially the same exact thing, except the bow is different. Now, I couldn't get one with 500 ability. The closest I can get is 475 ability, so it's a little bit less, but the reason why I want to get something close to it is because his arrows are affected by the ability amount. So the higher the ability, the more damage his arrows do. So, And also, I just needed a bow that had the normal arrows equipped so we could see if there's any differences. So we're going to go into practice mode and we're just going to show it off and see if there are any peculiar differences. So loadout one and then loadout two. Oh, and by the way, if you want to see us take the boat online, I actually did that in the video on the second channel. Once again, link is in the bio. So let's read this. Oop, <laughs> I was about to hit him. So we have the boomstick. The boomstick is an interesting name. They all have new names. This one replaces the explosive arrows. And then we have the nighty knight, which I think is the best one that he has. It's definitely the most interesting. And you know, when he says, he's like, Where's my sleeping gas arrow? Now he finally has it. So, you know, full circle, right? If you're green arrow main, this will give you full closure. I'm absolutely sure. <laughs> and then you have the Robin Hood, which is actually a very awesome name for the electric arrows. I believe it's exactly the same. 
except as you can see it steals super meter from the opponent so that's pretty cool and i do have bola arrow equipped for a reason i'm going to talk about that in a second so we'll check out his, well this is his normal arrow and then this is the boomstick so i 110 damage with my build now i'm pretty sure this is the same exact thing as the explosive arrows just with a different name i'm pretty sure because correct me if i'm wrong and we're about to test it. We're, I'm going to have the comparison on screen right now. But it looks exactly the same. I think the frame rate's the same too. Some of the other ones that are more obvious are the electric arrows. This one's very fast. Look at that. That's that's like... Like now I'm understanding how he's able to land shots on the flash. <laughs> like look at how fast that is. And also the ability for that one, as I mentioned, is that it drains super meter from the opponent. Since we're in practice mode... You're not going to see it, but I will have a fight showing that off on screen right now. I believe what it's supposed to do is one arrow drains 25% or a quarter of one bar of super, and two of them will drain half a bar of super. And then this is the most interesting one. This is the sleeping gas arrow. Take a look at this. So it's like the frozen arrow, but I think this one's better because it stuns them. And like, you have like a lot of time to react. The reason why I have, and as you can see, this right here, this is the Bola Arrow. I have that equipped because up until now, and I still am going to make a video on all of his abilities and the rest of the character's abilities in the game, you know, individual videos. Subscribe if you want to see that, if you're not subscribed already. And if you are subscribed already, thank you so much. So with the Bola Arrow, I would say that this is the best ability that he has in the game until you get the legendary bow, because this bow Essentially, you don't need this ability anymore. You can do some two other ones if you want because look at this, right? It's the same amount of damage with both of them the bola arrow and the sleeping gas arrow except The bola arrow is sl well, it holds them for less amount of time You see how much seconds it holds them for take a look at this one. Look at how long they're stunned for That's a long time Like you can you can do so much with this you could start a full combo before they can even you know? Oh, and if you guys want a combo video, let me know in the description. I'll be happy to. I know one person asked me for one already. I'm going to start working on it soon. But if more people want it, let me know. I'll be happy to oblige. Anyway, that was the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you thought about everything. Let me know if you thought the legendary gear is worth it. Let me know if you... Whatever you want, let me know in the comments. I'd be happy to read them all. Thank you guys for watching. That was the video. If you enjoyed, hit like down below. It would mean a lot. And hit subscribe. At 2,000 subscribers, I'm going to have a very special tutorial showing you guys how to easily record YouTube videos and Twitch, how to stream on that. For any gamers out there, I would love to help you guys out. So hit subscribe. 2,000 subscribers. We'll have that video out. Also, check out Twitch on Monday and Thursday nights at 9 o'clock p.m. to watch what I like to call Dilla Dynamics Fight Nights where we take Injustice 2 online and we have some fights. Check out the second channel, Dilla Dynamics XL, for new videos nearly every day. And also, thank you so much to everybody who has joined the guild on Injustice 2. I am genuinely surprised because I had just opened it up a couple nights ago, right before I released the last video, and it had one person, just me, and then literally within a few days, we're almost full. We're at 40 people as of this morning out of 50. We still have some open slots. So if you're on PlayStation and you want to join the guild, feel free to. The code will be in the description. And once again, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next one. Stay safe, stay sound, stay whelmed, and peace be with you.